Warriors, China and Bill Gates to take over. Here we are in the Dubai Marina, and we're going to break it down for you today. My name is Coach JBI. I am the top health, mindset, and crypto coach in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. Now, Warriors, what I want to share with you guys today is how, how things are happening in the world. Not just here right now, but what's happening in the world and how can you prepare for the biggest shift in generational wealth. Now, what we want to do is we want to look at the macro and the microeconomics. Now, I've had amazing conversations. I'm here in the Dubai. I'm reading it. It's in the beginning, you could see the background here, and I'll show you the background in just a moment. But we're out here in Dubai, and we're talking to some of the top-level cryptocurrency people in the world. And one thing I'll tell you, Warriors, is the biggest shift, not only in generational wealth, but the biggest shift in your financial history that you get to experience within your lifetime is happening right now. We're sitting with some of the top innovators in cryptocurrency and the financial space that are absolutely going to change the world. But I want you to think about the bigger picture and how can you set yourself up? Because this just isn't about cryptocurrency. There's a shift in our economic system. We're moving from Web 2.0 to Web 3.0. We have a brand new asset class since the 1600s called cryptocurrency. Now, there's a lot of FUD in the market. You know, everybody's worried about Bitcoin going skyrocketing or not skyrocketing or crypto crashing. But there's a much bigger picture that you should be looking at, which is the macro, the macroeconomics and what's happening in the world. Now, I want to remind you that every single fiat hit, uh, currency has collapsed in history. And each fiat currency has about a hundred year lifespan. So now that we know that, how can we prepare ourselves? Now, one thing that we can talk about is I'm going to talk about today, and people are going to get caught up in the nefarious part of this, but this has been happening in history over and over and over again. And history does not repeat itself. It often rhymes. But the narrative that I've been looking at for the last year and a half is China becoming the new superpower and what's happening with the billionaires and the massive money out there in the marketplace. So the way that I look at how I'm investing for my future is I'm planning the best I can to get ready and watching what the billionaires are doing. Not what they say, but what they're doing. So let's look specifically at what's happening. So we know that China has declared all cryptocurrency transactions illegal. And we got to talk to some high-level people. I won't share their specific names. But we were talking to a lady last night who's heavy in cryptocurrency, who has started a cryptocurrency um, exchange, very, very high level. They're connected with high-level people like the World Economic Forum. And we were sitting with them talking deeply about this. Now, she's coming from China, now moved to Dubai, and it's an interesting dynamic to hear what's happening within China. And when she brought this stuff up, this is stuff that I've been talking about in regards to China and becoming the new superpower based on their, the way that they run their country. Their GDP, their gross domestic product, which I'm going to show you at the end here, is catching up to, right? They're working to catch up to America, which America has a massive GDP. So I want you to think about there's a lot of crazy things happening right now, but I, I'm going to work through this with you guys and I'm going to share with you what I'm going to be doing, how I'm going to set my family up based on what I know right now within this current paradigm. I'm not going to stress and worry about the future, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself up based on what I think is going to happen. Okay, so we know that China is declaring all cryptocurrency transactions illegal. So China central banks has announced that all transactions of cryptocurrency are illegal, effectively banning digital tokens such as Bitcoin. Virtual currencies related to business activities are illegal financial activities, the People's Bank of China said. Warning, it seriously endangers the safety of people's assets. So China is one of the world's largest cryptocurrency markets, okay? So what they're saying is, hey, listen, it's so volatile that we want to protect our people. So within their communities, it's a dictatorship, right? They tell their people what to watch, how to walk, how to talk, how to live their lives. And so what they're telling them is that cryptocurrency, we're going to protect you from a very volatile asset. But we know, being in the cryptocurrency space, that it's changed 
almost all of our lives, right? And all the people we're meeting here, we're, we're, we're around being a millionaire out here is nothing. There's millionaires everywhere, okay? The billionaire is a new millionaire out here in Dubai. But they're saying they're protecting their people. And what they're doing is they're creating a monetary system where they're in control, right? So we know that China is banning all cryptocurrency transactions. But this was pretty interesting. As we were talking to this person, she shared, I didn't realize this. And I looked it up. And sure enough, China blocks CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, and similar websites. So the websites, in order for them to look up the cryptocurrency uh, prices to watch the charts go up and down, have been banned in China. Think about that. So they declared all cryptocurrencies illegal and China blocks CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap and other similar websites. I want you to comment down below. Why do you think that they're doing that? Now, I want to share something very powerful. And here's where I start to think about my finances and how I'm going to set my family up for the future. So if you think about this, China is banning, you know, mining, they're banning cryptocurrency, they're banning the web, uh, banning the websites where you can even look at cryptocurrency. So what's happening is U.S. is taking the top spot for crypto mining. They're bringing that economy to America. So what that tells me is as an American, as a free, supposedly American, I have the opportunity right now to take advantage, just like I did by building a business within one of the freest countries in the world. and was able to build a million dollar company because of the freedom that I have, but we're the most imprisoned people. We'll go down that rabbit hole later. But I have the opportunity right now to be involved in something that is going to absolutely change the world. But as I think about this, if China is going to become the superpower based on their economy and what they're doing with their economy and their disciplined way to run their economy, then I need to think forward thinking, okay? As I build a massive cryptocurrency portfolio and gain a massive amount of wealth, what am I going to do with that wealth? Am I going to stay fully in cryptocurrency like I am now? Or am I going to diversify into land, which I'm going to show you in just a moment, where Bill Gates is buying land, China is buying land. Why are the billionaires buying land? And why aren't you in the future thinking about buying land? Right. So we have to start to think like them wars. It's not about, you know, thinking you have to be a billionaire to do this, but you can change your frame of mind at the level you're at now. Even if you work at McDonald's, OK, take 10 percent of your paycheck and invest in assets. Start to build as if you're a billionaire. It's just another zero. So maybe you're making thirty thousand dollars a year. You just have to add another zero. OK, then you get to the six figures, add another zero. That's the seven figures. Then you move it up. You just keep moving it upwards. It's just a frame of mind. Okay, so let's listen to what CNBC said about um, the crypto, or us taking the top spot for the crypto mining. Okay. Thousand users. So many cryptocurrencies have rallied in recent weeks, and mining in the U.S. is picking up steam as well. The University of Cambridge is out with a new study which finds the U.S. is the top choice for miners to set up shop following the crackdown in China. It also looked at how renewable energy adoption is growing in the crypto mining industry. Fellow host Mackenzie Segalos has that story for us. The U.S. is now the number one destination for Bitcoin miners, accounting for about 35 percent of the network's total hash rate. That's up 428 percent from September of 2020, according to new data from Cambridge University. OK, so I want you to think about that. China is forcing the mining into America. So what does that tell you? What does that tell you? When all your friends have been telling you cryptocurrency is a fraud. And you're focused on Dogecoin, these shit coins. Warriors, this is an enterprise. This isn't just a cryptocurrency. This just isn't a get rich quick scheme. This is a, excuse me, a fucking enterprise moving into your country that you have the opportunity to be a part of. I want you to really think much bigger picture. And I think my mind has completely expanded since I've been here in Dubai because we're cryptocurrency investors and influencers who are sitting here with the people who are building the actual projects. So I'm on the other side of it. I'm an influencer. Okay. I'm a person opening up people's minds and awareness to a new possibility, but I'm literally meeting with the people. We're meeting with the people who are building these projects. This is an economy being built warriors. This isn't just a opportunity to make money. You're part of a brand new economy and it's showing you right here from September 2020, Bitcoin mining, cryptocurrency mining's up 428%. So if you're thinking like a billionaire, where would you be investing your money? 
in something that is declining like the retail businesses or in something that increased by 428% since September. But it's a delicate balance, Warriors, as they build in regulation. As, as things change with the economy, if, if the U.S. economy collapses, where are you going to be holding the bag? So I'm going to share with you guys at the end what I'm going to be doing here, okay? City. Meanwhile, China, which was once the epicenter of this industry, has seen its share fall from 67% to zero in less than a year, thanks to the country's crackdown on mining. Now, since then, we've seen this mass migration of Chinese miners heading to places like the United States, and for good reason. For one, the U.S. has been quietly boosting its hosting capacity for years. The U.S. is also flush with sources of low-cost power, which more often than not tend to be renewable. In Washington State and New York, you'll see hydro-powered mining farms. More states are adding wind and solar power to their grids. Boom. Hint, hint, wind, solar, energy warriors, cryptocurrency. The future is here. They're literally telling you where should you where should you invest. But what we're doing is we're looking this way at WAP videos, we're worried about left, worried about right, worried about the V, we're worried about the C warriors. And here's what's happening. China is buying up American farms. Washington wants to crack down. The bipartisan pressure is building and stop foreign nationals from purchasing American farm operations um, and receiving tax paper, ta taxpayer subsidies. So there's this battle, and I don't even know if it's if it's something where the rubbing elbows behind the scenes, where it's America versus China, or are they all puppets in this bigger picture to create a one world economy? But we have to start to think like them, Warriors. That's what I'm saying here. Who knows? Maybe there is a real battle in between America and China, and we're fighting for our sovereignty or whatever it is, Warriors. But what you have to understand, what I'm showing you here is not nefarious activities. This is called business. This is called enterprise. This is what happens. We created this monetary system, Warriors. We created this as human beings. It's our responsibility. So if we created this monetary system, that if you have more money than me, you're more valuable than me, then we have to operate in the system. But the only thing we can do is we can gain the money and bring the money back to the people. And they're literally telling you what you should do with your money. OK, so China's saying this shit is so powerful that we're going to ban it. This shit is so powerful. We're not even going to let our people look at the prices of cryptocurrency. And this shit is so powerful that we're going to let America take take it. And then we're going to go out there while they're taking it. And guess what? We're going to buy up the farmland that they're probably going to mine on and use. I mean, this shit is genius. OK, then you go over to Bill and McGlinda Gates. So McDonald's fresh fries, carrots onions, all of the foods that come from the Bill and Melinda Gates, or excuse me, I'm, I'm putting those two together, uh, Bill Gates farmland. So Gates does not appear to count his farming investments as the national's largest farmland owner as part of a broader strategy to save climate. Okay, this is pretty powerful. I just want to show you. So Bill and Melinda Gates, who recently announced they're getting divorced. Oh, sorry to hear that. And they divided their assets, are deeply invested in American agriculture. The billionaire couple in less than a decade have accumulated more than 269,000 acres of farmland across 18 states and more than the entire acreage of New York City. The farmland was purchased through a consolidation of companies that all link back to the couple's investment group. Okay, the reason that's why I wanted to show you that real quick. Cascade Investments based in Kirkland, Washington. Okay, so we know China is pushing out Bitcoin mining. We know China is controlling. It's a dictatorship, right? We know that the U.S. is sucking up this mining. We know that the U.S. is moving towards the 2030 or the yeah the 2030 agenda, which is the zero carbon. The first thing President Biden did is went into the Paris Agreement, went back into the Paris Agreement. So you're seeing what they're doing: wind, solar, crypto, land. Okay, so well, let's. Why did I bring up uh, Bill Gates? So Bill and Melinda's foundation, China. Since opening our China office in 2017, we have supported China in addressing major domestic health and development challenges and working with China partners to help the country become stronger in health and develop partners for the rest of the developing world. So Bill and Melinda Gates are deeply involved in China warriors. So I don't know, like, and it, you know, also too, like I think uh, was it? I don't want to speak out of school. I think it was Warren. Warren Buffett uh, was the first person to weave. They brought American Express in to China. So I don't know if we're being played, but what they're showing us is the playbook. That's the key. 
right? You're not going to control that type of stuff, but they're showing us the playbook of what we should do. So new charts show that China could overtake the U.S. as the world's largest economy earlier, earlier than expected. The latest GDP reports shown that the U.S. fell by 2.3% in 2020, while China's grew by 2.3% emitted the C word. The divergence uh, means that China will uh, likely overtake the U.S. as the world's largest economy a few years earlier than anticipated. Now, this is just all the narrative warriors. Now, I want to bring you back on my screen here. So I'm operating um, out of a uh, apartment here in Dubai. So let me take that off. Okay, so I'm back here. So um, and I had the little microphone down there so you guys could hear the video. The reason why I'm bringing this up, warriors, because I could come to you every single day and tell you all the cryptocurrency price predictions, and nor do I even care about the price predictions. So I am a long-term investor. But I want to share with you guys long term investor with a very strict strategy and understanding where I believe the economy is going to go. So people ask me often, what is your exit strategy and why is your exit strategy the way that it is? Number one, you can get our exit strategy um, if you click the description down below. If you click joining the Private Warrior Academy, you get access to our exit strategy, our cryptocurrency team, cryptocurrency calls, our 120 day challenge to get your shit together. But that's not what I'm here to share with you guys. I'm not here to sell you anything, Warriors. I'm here to help you open up your mind and awareness to the new possibilities. I'm not an uh, economist. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a dude who's gotten my shit together together and changed my life. And I'm sitting in an apartment here in Dubai. If you'd like to see the view here, I'm sitting in an apartment here in Dubai in the Marine Harbor. We're about to go to the Burj Khalifa or whatever it's called. One of the biggest buildings in the world. I'm hanging out with some amazing people here. And we literally are living a free life. No, no, we don't have to ask anybody to go on vacation. We're not controlled by anybody. But what we've done, Warriors, is we've made really good decisions based on what's happening with the billionaires and the multimillionaires. And they're not doing the same thing you're doing, Warriors. They're not doing the same thing you're doing. But remember, we very quickly changed our lives by changing our mindset and opening it to a new awareness. So what I'm doing is I have a 50% exit strategy within this bull run. I don't care about when the bull run ends. I care about the prices. And so as the prices go up, I exit the market 50%. I'm taking 50% of that. I'm going to diversify into precious metals, asset preservation, and then I'm going to put money on the sidelines to get back into this market because you see what's happening right here. America's taking over the mining. They're telling you gold or uh, solar, wind. They're telling you where we're heading. Cryptocurrency is the future. So I'm definitely going to buy back in, but I'm also going to be looking at things like this. Okay, should I be buying farmland? I'm going to be buying corporations and companies. And with the money from those assets, I'm going to be buying land. I'm going to be buying multifamily homes. These are the things that I'm doing. But like I said, I've been very honest with you guys. I've now built financial freedom. And now I'm moving into generational wealth building. There's a big difference between financial freedom and generational wealth building. Financial freedom means I don't worry about my paycheck on Friday. I have the money to travel wherever I want. I don't have to ask anybody to do anything. I have passive income. Generational wealth is much different. Generational wealth is where your money makes money and your kids, kids, kids are rich. In order to make generational wealth, you have to really look at what the billionaires are doing. So where are we going to take these profits and put them into so that we sit in the middle of this asset generation portfolio? Okay. And so I'm going to continue to share with you guys, with Ken Mack, our team on what we're doing. Am I going to make mistakes? Absolutely. And you're going to make mistakes too. That's how we learn warriors. That's how I got to where I'm at from losing my money three times and finally getting my shit together and saying, okay, if I keep listening to the people who are in the same realm that I'm at, I'm going to get the same results. So I started looking at the people who are doing what I want to do. And now, like I said, we're in Dubai. You saw the video yesterday. We're sitting with Ken Mack. We got our team here and we are learning from the best of the best. So the conversations we're having are next level conversations. But Warriors, you can do this too. We're just normal, everyday people who open up our mind and awareness to the new possibilities. So we love you guys. We appreciate you guys. I'm going to start doing a little more uh, videos about three times a week, deeper like this, like I used to, in regards to opening up the rabbit hole for you. Like I said, don't believe a word I say. I am not a financial advisor, and you should not make financial decisions because of a long-haired hippie dude with a tank top on sitting in an apartment in Dubai that was broke two years ago. I wouldn't listen to me. But what I would do is get your shit together, Warriors, because this is the biggest shift in generational wealth, and you get the opportunity to be part of it. Warriors, rise. Let's go.